So the skill of opposite action is where you, exactly what it says, do opposite of what you feel like doing. I was depressed and I was, when you're depressed, I found that with me, um, I wanted to stay in, I wanted to stay isolated, not do a lot of um, activities. And so with opposite action, you do exactly the opposite of what you feel like doing. I had to go to group and it was cold outside and I was nice in my warm bed. I would think to myself, instead of just uh, trying to see the whole morning um, take it in, which would be overwhelming, I would just tell myself I'm going to just sit up and stretch and, and see how good that feels. And so I would do that. And then the next step would be, I'm just going to go take a warm shower and um, see, enjoy that. And then I would go further. I'm going to just get dressed in my favorite outfit and get all fixed up, do my hair, do my makeup. And um, that would help me to start going. Um, when I did, I'd step outside the house, I'd remember I'd have to go catch the bus up a hill, a really steep hill. So uh, for that, I would just say to myself, I'm just gonna take one step. And then I'd tell myself, I'm just gonna take one more step and one more step. And before I knew it, I was up the hill. And um, of course, then I would reward myself with coffee because I love coffee. So um, I found that that opposite action is one of the skills that to me um, is really what made the difference between um, how I was feeling and what I was doing. If I thought about all the things I had to do, then I would get that overwhelmed feeling and didn't do none of them. If I just thought of taking one action at a time, um, it was I was able to do it then.